Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, even they, which is the Western media, uh, agree with this, and they are a little bit scared about it, which is, it seems like Mr. Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, is not over his anger with Biden and his weasel team. Why? Because he right now is going to join Putin against the United States of America with their weapon, which is in this case oil and investments. Good job, I would say. And what happens? Um, Mr. Uh, bin Salman, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, has balls and has weapons. And not that kind of weapons, but different kind of weapons. So let's see what's going on here. This is, rep this is reported by Western media and they are a little bit upset. So, Insider, this is from June 5, 2023. Saudi's crown prince and Putin are teaming up to keep oil prices high in a geopolitical gambit likely to annoy the US. Alright, so they're joining forces, teaming up. Saudi Arabia said it is cutting oil production to, to stabilize oil markets. The move is likely to irk Joe Biden, who I doesn't understand what's going on, who has clashed with the Saudis on oil production. <laughs> yeah, okay. The Saudis have previously worked with Russia to cut production, thus boosting prices. And uh, they're doing something else even worse. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Saudis to cut oil production by 1 million barrels a day in July as OPEC Plus extends output deal. That's not good, is it? So that means uh, the United States must continue sucking dry its reserve oil reserves or res all oil reserves, uh, strategic reserves from what? Uh, Texas and Alabama or Louisiana, one of the two. I know Texas. Uh, and I think, no, I think I know they have 714 uh, million barrels capacity. So that's 714 days to uh, make up for that 1 million a day that is lost by these guys. Uh, I know they were uh, pumping, sucking the, uh, the reserves, strategic reserves, US strategic reserves. They were sucking it dry. Now it seems like they have to uh, pump even more. Why? Because uh, we have enough wind and sol uh, sun to uh, generate energy. All right, so let's move back to these guys. I have another article here related. This comes from Bloomberg. Saudi shoulders burden to support oil market with extra cuts. Russia won't have to cut deeper. UAE gets higher 2024 quota. Russia said it cuts with 700,000. That's what they say they will do. These guys with 1 million barrel per day. So uh, let's go back to these guys here. So Saudi Arabia are working to keep oil prices high, obviously. On Sunday, the kingdom's energy minister, uh, Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman Al Saud, said Saudi oil output would be reduced from 10 million barrels to 9 million starting in July. This is a Saudi lilip, lollipop. And I'm quoting, Price, uh, Prince Abdulaziz said, and I'm quoting, we wanted to ice the cake. <laughs> we always want to add suspense. We don't want people to try to predict what we do. This market needs stabilization. And that's, um, they will uh, provide stabilization by keeping people uh, in suspense. <laughs> okay. And not uh, uh, being, you know, like predictable. That's how you keep, you stabilize it. Okay, then, and I have a different, you know, different understanding of the terms. His remarks came after a meeting in Vienna, Austria, of OPEC Plus members, a group that would, that the world's largest oil producing nations. So, my friends, however you want to look at it, uh, that's what happens when people say, well, do you think that these guys get in a room and they talk about how they can harm this or harm that? You know, because the people talk about the those things of one uh, world government and those guys against us and all that and they say this is usually the counter 
stupid argument uh, when these guys are coming and tell us, well, do you think that these guys are getting in a room to, uh, you know, to discuss and um, conspire against us and all that? No, I don't think they do that. They do something else. They are pushed together. I mean, they communicate, that's for sure. But not like, hey, let's, these guys. They, they, they don't have to communicate that one. Why? Because they're in the business of, do, of doing that. It's like, for instance, you are a um, uh, TV station. You want viewers. How do you get viewers? And for what? For the commercials, for the advertisers. So you, want, you actually work getting money. How do you get money? By advertisers. They will pay money. That's how you get the money. Not from you, unless you're public radio, public uh, TV, and then you get it forcefully from the population, from their taxes. So let's say you're private. If people invest in you, why would they invest in you? Because you have viewers, they're going to be viewing the commercials you're going to, you know, give to everybody else over there. So you have to buy something with these guys' money that would attract the little flies like us to shed. And we're going to come, you know, to watch their garbage. And while we watch their garbage, they put commercials every 15 minutes. And we just get propaganda, propagandized. We get uh, conditioned. Pum, 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 pum. On average, nine con conscious uh, observations will get into the, our subconscious. That's what it is. And then you, by seeing that, you're going to possibly buy the product of the advertiser through the medium or the media that's going to give you the movie that you want to watch. So the same is, is right here. It's the common interest. That's how these guys are. They know it's us. It's the viewers. They say, we provide services. Yeah, we provide services so we can get the money. Yeah, our goal is not to make you feel good. Our goal is to get money. And we think, how can you get money, Gigi? Well, if you give me that product, I will buy that one. I will sell it to these weasels. These weasels are going to come watching it. Watching it, they're going to see your commercials. And we make money because they're probably going to buy your product instead of a product of a company that they never heard of. Right? Right. Do you think that Nike and Adidas and Puma and uh, whatever, ASICs and other are the best ones in the world as a quality? Could be. Not always. But you don't hear about others. Why? They have the power of adver advertisement. How did they get that? By selling stuff. How do you sell stuff? Advertising and quality. You have to back it up though, you know what I mean? But I, that's why I said not always. So the same with these guys. Do you think that the Russians and the Saudis are Putin and uh, Saud? Uh, ah, I hate that guy, man. Yeah, yeah, let's, let, let's fuck them. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's understood. That's understood because they're in the business of, of that guy. Why? Because that guy, them, whenever they could. So that's the way it goes. That's how it brings together these corporations or they call it international, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's the interest, common interest. And sometimes they meet in certain locations in public. Davos, I don't know if the Bilderberg are still there or not. Davos seems to surpass that by uh, many times. They come over there and they discuss the global. Uh, that's the interest that brings them over there. Not uh, uh, on anyway. Sometimes they say stuff because uh, that's what uh, tyrants do. When they get to a point where they think they are really, really cannot be challenged, challenged, then they take their clothes off and say, hey, here I am, baby doll. And you say, oh my God, who put that back? So that's what it is. These guys sometimes get ahead of themselves and they show themselves and we're like, what? Bang. And then they get uh, guillotined and so on by the masses with Robert Spierre and all that. Because they are too pompous. They think they have it, but they don't. They have it bef before they have it. You know, like you go and buy something without having the money transfer already in your bank bank account, and you go and pay the money that you don't have yet. What happens? You go to jail. If you're small, if you're big, they're gonna wait for you until that money gets transferred. That's how it works. Two sets of rules for strong and for us. <laughs> Because we're strong too, we're told. Why? Because of diversity. Diversity is our strength, if you know. <laughs> man, these guys are just playing without our, our weasels, man. But hey, they can. They can do it. So, uh, anyway, but it's very, very easy to see through. At least for some of us. So, yes, Saudis uh, are doing their interest, following their interest. The Russians, the same thing. The Americans, the same thing. It's a war. It's not like, oh, we're allies. Remember until about three, four years ago, uh, Saudi Arabia was allied with the United States of America and right now supposedly it's allied with, uh, with the Russians. Why? 
interest and not only interest some people sometimes work against their interest for a bigger interest in the future you know if this guy wants to strangle me and i can't beat him i'm gonna get this guy as a protection i'm gonna pay this guy money for protection the united states of america and keep these guys from strangling me i don't like this guy i don't like this guy but i don't like this one more than the other guy i give you money you protect me from this guy i don't like you i don't like you but hey i'm still the king Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.